I considered it my privilege and it was my pleasure to have seen and spoken about Ayyappanum Koshiyam, film made by Sachi in Malayalam, starring the likes of uh, Biju Menon and Prithvi Sukumaran, has to move from the precincts of Kerala to larger audiences and as it is to regional audiences outside of Kerala. I spoke when I did Ayyappanam Koshiyam about John Abraham taking over the rights of the Hindi remake of the film with the fear and hope that John Abraham doesn't act in the film. What missed the target then is the making of the film in Telugu with the cast including Pavan Kalyan and Rana Dagupati, two big stars of Telugu cinema. I wonder if Telugu cinema has actors, it has stars, everyone here is a star and how do you establish a star the way he walks, the way he enters a film, the drama, the larger than life. Contrast this with Ayyappanum Koshiyo. It's about simple people. It's about simplicity and how even ordinary people can fall into a dangerous drift and pay a huge price for it. To me, Bhimla Nayak, with Within the defined territory of Telugu cinema may still be an ordinary good film. The problem with Bhimla Nayak is that it will have to be a quotient with Ayyappanam Koshiyam as the denominator. And that is where it falls, falls flat, falls loud. Obviously, if you have a Pavan Kalyan film and you're catering not to cinema but to the cinest, if I can call them that, or if you're catering to the fan clubs of Rana Dagupati and uh, Pavan Kalyan, then the whole grammar of the film is different. The director, Sagar K. Chandra, therefore has a different task cut out and he falls for the task rather than for the art. Bhimla Naik is that near three hour story of Tom and Jerry which Ayyappanam Koshiyam did so brilliantly into a loud melodramatic Telugu film of two, two stars in clash. What was great about Ayyappanam Koshiyam was that you had Biju Menon and Prithvi, actors in clash. Today you have stars in clash. And therefore the gloss gets the better of the story. Pavan Kalyan, please will somebody tell the actor that he owes his trade something. He owes the art something. You made your mega bucks. Someday you must say, Okay, let me be honest to the art. Let me give up my stardom and play a role. That's not what is happening here. From the moment he glares the torch as Bhimla Nayak on the erring Daniel Shaker played by Rana Dagupati, there's only Pavan Kalyan. There's no Bhimla Nayak in the film. And that is the uncoming of the whole film loud to a fault. Everybody is mega in compared to Koshiyam or Ayyappanam Koshiyam. You have some good performances. I don't deny that Jeevan Kumar as Samruta Kari as the father has a very compellingly low played role. Nitya Menon as the wife, little sketchy but all right. Samyukta Menon as Daniel's wife, again a little sketchy and a little contrived, but that's all right. The problem is with 
Rana and PK. They are over the top. Amazing cinematography in the film by Ravi Chandran. Real wonderful locales. They've taken great effort to polish up the presentation. What mars the narration is the star value and the abject surrender to star over acting talent. Did the film mess itself up at the time of the cast itself? I don't know. Did the filmmaker expect that the stars will give up their tinsel repute and play ordinary human roles? I don't know. Or was the director himself a product of the commerce of Tollywood? All these lead but to one final conclusion and that is to those who have seen Ajapunam Koshiyam, Bhimla Nai hurts. To those who love the melodrama of Tollywood, those who love Pavan Kalyan versus Rana, go for it. It's worth your three hours of masala. You may have your popcorn without too much of masala because the film has it all. You can enjoy it only to that extent. But if you are one of those who have seen Ayyappanam Koshiyam, this narrative will require some tolerance for the viewer. Thank you Datu, thank you Abhinav, thank you for many of you who watched this and seen my compare and my take on a very very popular Telugu film starring very very popular stars. The intent is not to puncture the larger than life cutouts. It's just to plead someday, reduce the size of your cutout and cut yourself into human proportions. You will someday have that responsibility as actors to leave a dent, leave an impression, leave a footprint. Do so. Thank you.